Those are two examples you've just given, John. Can you repeat them here? I could, yeah, I, I, I'll try. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm not given to um, <clears throat> uh, prophecies all that frequently, but I had one a couple of years ago, which was along the, along the lines of, just imagine a, a, a bike that's been neglected a bit, so it's rusty. And um, so the person riding it, has got to put a bit more effort into pushing the pedals around. Uh, it still works, but it's just wearing this person out. And it could be, in church terms, it could be a, a worship leader or a preacher or a home group. It doesn't really matter what their responsibility is, but their responsibility is. Uh, but they're just finding it's hard work. And, um, and then in, in this prophecy you know uh, the solution is just to take out an oil can that's all that's required There's nothing wrong with the bike and uh, so this person's feeling guilty and tired and worn out and thinking that it doesn't work well the bike's okay all you need is some oil on the chain and it's that that time when we're we realize we just need a fresh pouring out of the holy spirit through us as Jesus said the Holy Spirit will bubble up from within so that was that was one picture and I kind of held that for a, a little while <clears throat> and then more recently because of uh, Chris's sharing a lot about the uh, uh, tabernacles and feast of tabernacles which I went to I went to the Jewish, yeah do you want to explain about that that's Jewish. really cool what you're saying earlier yeah and I, so I've seen it in action I, I was part uh, invited with with uh, uh, with my wife at the time it, to the Feast of Tabernacles in a in a Jewish group in, in Kent and there we were in a back garden and the host put his prayer things on, Jewish prayer things, that is a Jewish group and across his garage uh, lean to they put some palm branches uh, and uh, but it was open to the sky, there were gaps just like Chris has been sharing for the last few weeks and so in, uh, to link that back to this prophecy about the rusty bike, um, it's a, it's, if you were speaking to a church, you would say, well, look, you know, without deliberately doing it, without wanting to do it, just have a look at the roof. And uh, the roof is now covered in, in, uh, you know, in grass or whatever it happens to be. Can't see the light anymore. Take Take them down, take some of them down and let the light come back in. Let the presence of the Holy Spirit come back in. You've been trying to run the church without the presence of the Holy Spirit and it, it just gets dark and uh, it doesn't work, does it? So let's just remove a few palm branches and let the light back in. Mm. That's so cool. Yeah. 